Hello, today I will show you how to successfully observe the Venus transit this summer 2012. Some places it is June 4th, other places June 5th. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity, maybe because the next transit will occur more than 100 years from now. Okay, we go to the computer room and hopefully you will enjoy my lecture. Okay, here we are at the computer. This is the successful transit of Venus in 2004. And I will show you how I managed to take these pictures and animation. We can take a short look at the animation first. That is... So here it starts. Here is a still billet, still picture with sunspots. And we can see the planet move out of the sun. At this final stage, it is important to expose the solar disk uh, almost to saturation because you want to find, you want to record the outer atmosphere refracted around Venus. I can show you that on the next picture here. Here, the disk is almost exposed to saturation. And if you look close, approximately here, you can see that the sunlight is refracted in the Venus atmosphere. It is important to practice the exposure times several days ahead of the event, so you know what to do. And the next day, you can try and see the planet Venus after the transit. This is the so-called Venus ring. It is very difficult to observe and to take a picture of. I think it's easier to observe it than to take a picture. Well, it depends on the equipment. So you see that this picture was taken well, the planet exit June 8 on 11.06 and the next day this picture was taken 9th June 7.32 and I will show you how which instrumentation I used As you see, there are lots of white stripes in the picture. That is because dust particles so close to the sun, they show very easily. Okay, I will show you the instrumentation I used, how to take these pictures. I go to the Merc 
Mercury transit the year before because then I had to set it up. This is from the Mercury transit in 2003. That was very good because then I could practice and test for the big event next year. So I used this 4-inch Mead Schmidt Cassegrain telescope with a thousand aux solar filter and I also have this flip mirror unit and a CCD camera. I had to put a green filter and a darker filter in front of the CCD camera in addition to this main filter in front of the in front of the telescope. Okay. So I used this setup for Mercury transit the year before. I can just show well I have a short animation of this too. Okay, here to start. Mercury entering the solar disk. Of course, you can use a TV camera. You don't need necessarily to use a CCD camera. It depends on what you have. And it's very important to practice the day before. I will, I will show you here is how I made the the pictures of uh, the Venus transit. I, the only changes I put I put the four inch telescope on the same mounting as the ten inch. Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. But uh, the optical system and filters are the same. So I, and here I have to cover the main telescope because sunlight is coming directly into. But I have, I have a small hole here. That is what I'm going to use when I try for the Venus ring the next day. So I put the CCD on this 10 inch with a very small hole here in front. And I take picture and hopefully I use the, the go to function on the telescope. It is, it is good to practice this several days before the event. So, and you must not use your eyes to look at the sun or anything else. You can, you must just let the CCD take picture and you see that the CCD or movie camera, you will get the Venus ring if you point it correct. Okay. And I will show you the next picture, here is a detailed picture of the setup, the 4 inch, the flip mirror unit and the CCD camera. But yes, here are all the telescope. I have presented them on the link under for those of you who are interested. But here is a very safe method to, to observe. This is a refracting telescope, 60 millimeter, and I have a project, project the sun onto a screen. I will show the next picture how that is done. 
this is my neighbor they they was interested lots of people come by and watched the transit and so it looks like on here, here it looks like on the on the screen this is the safe way to observe the sun and the venus transit okay this one is nice uh, outdoor it does not have so much contrast but it's okay And back to this instrument. I will also show you the occultation of Venus uh, earlier the same year. It is here is the Venus ring. But here, here is the here is the Venus, planet Venus occulted by the moon. You can see it calming. Okay, we can see it one more time. We are finished with this presentation. Almost finished. There it disappeared behind the moon. And the moon is coming. And Venus reappears. Actually, this is part of my web page, which I hopefully will put on the internet. I just have it on the computer. It is possible to find this web page on internet because other people have put it there. I will see if we can see. Well. It is possible. Just search for something like Otrondal still studying astronomy or something. Okay. Thank you. And good luck on this coming big event. This may be one lifetime's opportunity. It is 100 years, more than 100 years to next time. Thank you.